Hi, I'm Keith Nolan. Welcome to Access All Areas. And I'm here today in Bangkok with legendary writer Jerry Hopkins. Thank you. Good to be here. Nice to see you. You started out with the Rolling Stone magazine writing. Let, uh, tell us about your first biography. Well, uh, I had been with Rolling Stone for two and a half, three years, and one of the things I did during that period was do a Rolling Stone interview with Jim yep. Morrison. I had been drinking in the same bars with him. We, we were not friends, but we were more than acquaintances. And uh, uh, during the course of my interview with him, he suggested uh, that I write a bu book about Elvis. But at the time, he was really a God-fearing, church-going, yes sir, no sir, mom-loving southern boy, boy. Yeah. well-mannered. Um, later, he became uh, very mainstream. He crossed, crossed over and became the J.C.'s Young Man of the Year. The highway that ran past Graceland was named for him. Jim Morrison said a, a, a book about Elvis is something he liked to read, and that's what ins inspired the book in the first place. I, I was interviewing Jim for Rolling Stone, and I had just published a small history of, of rock and roll, and he said he'd read it and liked it, and was I writing another book? And I said, well, you know, I'm thinking about doing a biography. It intrigues me as a form, and I was actually thinking about Frank Zappa, because I'd known Zappa from when, before he was a rock star. And uh, Jim just said simply, I'd like to read a book about Elvis. And uh, when he'd said that, we had just come from his agent's office, which I discovered was my agent as well. And so when I got together a little presentation for the Elvis book, I sent it, you know, gave it to my agent. She sent it to Jim's publisher. Jim had gone to the agent to sign a contract for his, po for his poetry book. and. Uh, that editor, Simon & Schuster, took the Elvis book. And then yeah. when Jim died in 1971, several years later, um, the, pub the, eight, the publisher called me and he said, how would you like to do a book about Jim? And I said, I've already decided to do one. Because not only was I affected more greatly by his death than my relationship warranted, as was the same thing with Elvis, he was, you know, the, the Doors and Morrison, you know, I mean, they went, they were going to go down in history in flames. Morrison was this, this jerk who, you know, dropped his pants or didn't in Miami, who, you know, I mean, but he, he was a revolutionary too, and he and the Doors changed music and changed the way a lot of people look at things and became an icon along with them. So. Jerry Hopkins, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you, Jerry. Thank you. It's been a pleasure.